shepherd in Christ. This is another wonderful day the Almighty Jehovah has given to his children around the whole world. We praise his holy name. Beloved, let us pray. Mighty Jehovah, King of Kings, Lord of Lords, this is another day that you have given to your children around the whole world. Oh, we magnify the holy name. We adore you. We praise you. You are worthy to be praised. So, Father, we thank you for the bread. It is by your mercies that we are still alive. Unto thee, O Lord, with you all things are possible. We thank you for a moment like this, as you have given us a word, and your word is coming like a fire. Speak of the living God, speak through me. I am just an empty clay. Oh, let your word come forth. And I thank you for giving me the utterance so that your word will be spoken through me. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, I pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Hallelujah. We serve a mighty king. We serve a mighty Lord. He alone is worthy. So beloved, without wasting time, let us go to the word of God. And the title of the message is New Jerusalem. And we are going to read the scripture, which is Revelation 21. And the verse is one to four. Let's hear the word of God. Now, this is by John, the apostle. Now, Revelation 21, one to four. Now, I saw a new heaven and a new, he a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth has passed away. Also, there was no more sea. Then I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride, a door for her husband. And I, I heard a loud voice from heaven saying, Behold, the, tab the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people. God himself will be with them and be their God for, and God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. There shall be no more death, nor sorrow, or crying, there shall be no more pain, for the former things has passed away. Hallelujah. Oh, God Almighty, you are so marvelous. Beloved, in the holy city, there is going to be happiness as you will be in the presence of God. In the holy city of God, that a new Jerusalem no more complains about anything. In the new holy city, we will do the will of God. We don't get tired because Jesus Christ will refresh us from morning to evening. We will be in his presence of the most high God which is our Lord. Hallelujah be to his holy name. Hallelujah. Beloved, let us continue. We go to the same revelation in the verses six and seven. Let's hear the word of God. And he said to me, it is done. I am the author and the omega the beginning and the end, I will give a fountain of water, of life freely to him who tests seven. He shall overcome and shall inherit all things, and I will be 
his God, and they shall be my son. Hallelujah. Beloved, John was describing our Lord Jesus Christ to us. As we all know, John was Jesus Christ's disciple when Christ was on this earth. And as the Bible let us know, John was chosen by Christ. And he walked with Christ when Christ was on this earth. But beloved, hear what we read in Revelation 21, the verse 6 and 7. Christ was describing himself to John this time because he is the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. And about the fountain, whoever is test, they should come to him, Christ. Freely, you will give the water to quench the person's test. And that is the salvation. So we have to work on our salvation with tremble and fear and be obedient to God's commands. Beloved, God is our God. So he is describing to us about the holy city. And also we have to present our body as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptant to God, which is the reasonable service. So to be in the holy city, there is a requirement. And these requirements are acceptable by God. Beloved, to enter the holy city, which is the new Jerusalem, you must be holy and righteous. And your name should be written in his book of life. Let us go to Luke, which is Luke 10, 20. Let's hear the word of God. Oh, we thank him. Luke 2, Luke 10, and the verses 20. Let's hear the word of God. Hallelujah. What a mighty God. What a mighty king we serve. Beloved, let's hear the word. Unless, unless, Nevertheless, do not rejoice in this, that the spirits are subject to you, but rather rejoice because your names are written in heaven. Beloved, when your name are written in heaven, you will be in the holy city. You will be with him. He is a good God. He is telling us how to enter into the holy city. Beloved, we have to walk concerning about the holy city. We continue. We are reading from Hebrew and the verse is 23. Let's hear the word of God. Oh, we give him all the glory. Hallelujah. Hebrew 12, 23 says, to the general assembly and the church of the firstborn who are registered in heaven, to God, the judge of all, to the spirit of just men made perfect. So beloved, to enter into the holy city, you must be perfect before. For God. Oh, what a mighty Lord. What a mighty King. Beloved, there are rules and regulations to enter into the holy city. Hallelujah. We continue in Revelation 8. Beloved, let's hear the word of God. Revelation 21 8, it says, but 
the cowardly, unbelieving, abomination, murder, sexual immoral, sorceress, adulteress, and liars shall have their part in the lake, which burn with the fire and brainstorm, which is the second death. Beloved, all what he has mentioned here, if you are one of them and you are practicing this, there is no way you can enter the holy city. Here we see the list that cannot let you enter into the holy city. Man must examine himself. Man must repent from all the mention in Revelation 21.8. It is not acceptable to, to, to be with God. And God doesn't want his creations to be in the lake of fire. Beloved, as we are so alive, we can repent and be delivered from all these things that will hinder us. And that is not pleasing to God. So beloved, we should be aware. This is another chance that man can repent and his soul shall be saved. Hallelujah. We continue with the scriptures. Beloved, let us hear the word of God. This is by our Lord Jesus Christ. Matthew 16, 26. Let's hear the word. For what a prophet it is to a man if he gain the whole world and loses his own soul. Or what will a man give in exchange for his soul? Beloved, this is by our Lord Jesus Christ. What will profit a man to gain the whole world and you lose your soul? The things in this world is temporary. It is a vanity, the things in this world. The things in this world will fade away. And the things, the owner of the, the land is telling us, let us hear the word of God in Acts. Beloved, about this earth, what is going to happen? That is 2 Peter 3 and the verse is 10. Let's hear the word of God. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night in which the heaven will pass away with a great noise and the element will be met will be melt with fervent heat both the earth and the works that are in it will be burned up hallelujah so beloved everything on the planet will be burned up by our god he is the creator he is the owner so he is telling us in second peter 3 10 about this earth, it will be melted away. Beloved, we have to focus about the holy city, the new Jerusalem, how to enter, how to go there, and how that your soul will be saved with the Lord forever. May the Spirit of God, our guide, our helper, help us to make it into this holy city at his, as it is a place God wants his children to be. We give God all his glory. We give God all his honor. Beloved, the word has come forth. It is a choice to accept the word of God. And it is a decision making. If you want to be in this holy city, you have to work out your salvation with tremble and fear. So it is a decision making. If you want to be there, if you want to be with the Lord 
forever and forever. Oh, we give him this day his praise. We thank him. Spirit of the living God, have mercy upon us and help us to make it into this new holy city, which is new Jerusalem. May your name be exalted. May your name be praised. We thank you for the word. This is what all we need. And we have to focus about new Jerusalem. So beloved, the word has come forth. May his name be praised. Unto thee, O Lord, with you, all things are possible. Spirit of the living God, may you bless and protect your end-time prophet and the family and also his viewers that avail themselves to listen to him for the message that God gave it to him to be given to his children. May they be blessed. And may God Almighty grant their hard desire in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. We give him all his praise. In Jesus, your mighty name, I pray with thanksgiving. Amen.